Hello and welcome to Topics in Environmental Monitoring and Assessment and this will be an introductory review of the syllabus and discussion of uh, the primary topics. In terms of the course objectives, first of all we'll develop an appreciation for the emerging and the most relevant topics in environmental science today. Secondly, the objective would be to foster critical thinking skills, um, especially in relation to how environmental impacts are analyzed and reported. And thirdly, um, really a, a main objective is to develop speaking and written skills, writing skills for conveying environmental information to a wide diversity of audiences, both professional as well as lay. In terms of learning outcomes, um, the objective would be, first of all, to describe relevant threats to the environment, including new threats or variation on threats that may have been in existence for a long time, but have recently re-emerged as being primarily important. Secondly, uh, to understand how environmental threats are assessed through various means, including research, publication, and media. Thirdly, to develop an ability to critically assess environmental information and to evaluate it in terms of its accuracy and its relevance. Um, and this is an important point because increasingly as scientists were being asked to evaluate information and to convey it in a reasonable um, and realistic manner to, again, a variety of audiences. So this is clearly an important theme um, that we're going to try to emphasize uh, during the course of, of this, uh, this course. Um, Fourthly, uh, to communicate environmental information. Uh, that's an important theme in a variety of courses, including this one. And then finally, to demonstrate proficiency at communicating and working with peers in an online discussion forum. So in terms of assessment for the course, um, the course is broken up into 12 uh, different lectures or 12 different topics. Um, there will be discussions, online discussions associated with each of those 12 topics. So essentially students are expected to uh, review the videos uh, for each of the 12 topics, review the assigned readings for each of the 12 topics, and then to participate in online discussions concerning that specific topic. Um, and each one of those uh, 12 topics will be worth 1.67 percent of the final grade. So that is uh, each week uh, the online discussion that the student participates in will be worth 1.67 percent of the grade um, for a total of 20 percent. And then for eight of the 12 weeks there will be um, an assignment associated with that uh, that topic um, where the student will be expected to develop either a video or a written review of the topic specifically the information covered in the videos, the assigned videos and the readings. Um, there will be a total of eight of these assignments worth 10% each for a total of 80%. The completion dates for these various assignments, both the discussions and weekly assignments, um, are available on the syllabus. More details on the assessment uh, approaches. First of all, for the discussions, um, really the emphasis here is for students to interact in an online context or an online format with their peers. So the grading will be centered around the uh, value or the originality or importance or relevance of the submissions made by the students online. Um, so that is the students are expected to pose questions online to their peers as well as respond to questions posed by their peers to demonstrate that they're both going back and forth um, with their peers in terms of the, the discussions. Um, in terms of the weekly assignments, um, the expectation will be that the student will be able to succinctly and effectively encapsulate the material covered over the course of the videos and, and readings and to provide some uh, critical commentary on the content of that material. So in this case, uh, for the weekly assignment, the grades will be determined by the quality, the importance and the insight of the contribution of the material. So in terms of the assignments, they will begin on week three and there will be an alternating schedule where one week a, an assignment will be submitted in a video context and the following week the assignment will be uh, submitted as a written document. So that will alternate back and forth for the eight weeks. 
Um, so the assignments should follow the directions that are provided for each module, um, and those are explicit uh, in the syllabus. Um, one thing to keep in mind as you're going ahead and developing either your video response or your written uh, assignment is to really strive to be succinct and impactful. Really, we're not looking for very long worded uh, or extensive documents or responses, but something that's really quite punchy and quite uh, to the point uh, will fare much better. Um, video assignments should be recording using Panopto or equivalent software. Um, and really here, the extent of the video presentation is not uh, supposed to be uh, very long. I mean, it's supposed to be quite a compartmentalized or condensed presentation that, uh, that can really convey the material effectively. Um, written assignments should be submitted either in MS Word or another editable uh, format, but the request is that there are no PDF submissions because those are very difficult to edit uh, for grading purposes. Okay, so the 12 topics that we're going to cover over the course of the semester are first of all climate change, then we'll talk about how climate change and other factors are affecting our environment overall, then we'll delve into issues like oil dependency and species extinctions, we'll then talk about uh, environmental impacts related to pesticides and contaminants as well as more general pollution. Uh, and we'll also uh, address endocrine disruptors and how they're affecting an important uh, component of the environment. Then we'll talk about invasive species, marine system conservation, conservation and management of individual species, restoration and remediation of ecosystems, and then finally we'll try to end on a positive note and look at future directions in environmental monitoring and assessment. So. In summary, that's what's going to be covered uh, during the course of the semester in this topics course, and um, we'll see you next time.